And that breaking news tonight at 5 o'clock, two people are now dead after a small plane crash in Hancock County. And now investigators are on the scene. They're trying to figure out what went wrong here. We've been following this breaking news all afternoon. Yeah, in fact, our own Steve Jefferson has been looking for answers at the scene this afternoon. He joins us now live from the Indianapolis Regional Airport with what he's learned so far. Steve, what's the latest? Several people witnessed that crash here near the Indianapolis Regional Airport, including a driver who eventually pulled out his cell phone. That is not a little plane. Rick Spear recorded the aftermath of the plane he saw crash Wednesday afternoon. It happened just seconds after he noticed that the plane was a little larger than he's used to seeing at the regional airport. And then it just made, it was so steep. And the plane was, I looked at it and I, that's not a little piper. That's a pretty good sized plane to be making that sharp for the turn. And then the nose went down and they just went into the ground. Several people called 911 after the crash, hoping to get help to the victims right away. The plane went down in a muddy field and caught on fire, making it difficult for rescuers. State police gave this update about the two people on board. There were two people on board the plane. Uh, both of those people uh, are deceased. State police says the victims' names will be released once their families are told about the crash. All as federal aviation officials work to pinpoint the cause of the accident. Although federal officials responded here to the scene, it could take a while before they know exactly why the plane went down. In Hancock County, I'm Steve Jefferson.